Nice. Oh, wow. Wow. What's up, everybody? Dr. Bo here, your San Diego chiropractor, and I'm with Miss Yadi here, and she's got an awesome story that she wants to share because she's finally giving chiropractic a try after. Well, why don't you tell the story? Yeah, so I have a membership at Massage MV, and I feel great the day of, but after that, I just get this horrible tension on my shoulders, and I just carry it every day. It ruins my posture. It just it's really tense. It's really tense, right? So one of the things that she was sharing is that there's constant tension that she's holding in her neck, and we actually ended up taking an x-ray of her neck, and what we found was that her neck is going forward rather than us having a beautiful curve. So what's happening there is that there's all this physical stress that we're feeling into our area here, and you had mentioned some technology use, and at work there's a tendency for us to be at the desk as well. Okay, so what does it feel like for you right after the massage? Feels great, feel loose and just like it's not there anymore. And then next day I just feel like a hunchback again. Right, so <laughs> I'm sure many people have had this experience where everything, uh, everything feels great after the massage and then a day or two later it all returns. And the reason for it is that it's, become, it's coming from your spine. So what we're gonna do with Miss Yadi here is we're gonna take a quick look at her posture. After that, what we're gonna do is assess her on the table, get her adjusted, and then she's gonna be flying out of here. Awesome. So Yadi, go ahead and stand up for me right here. You're gonna face that way. And you're gonna have your eyes closed. And what I want you to do is you're gonna march, march in place with your eyes closed like this. Cool, and then you're gonna stop and keep those eyes closed, okay? Stop marching and continue looking straight ahead. Awesome. So one of the things that we're going to notice with her is that this right shoulder is up slightly higher. And you can even see that there's a slight rotation occurring in this way. Ex right foot is going to be slightly externally rotated and if we take a look, there's a slight discrepancy. Right hip is going to be slightly higher and then the left glute is going to be lower down than the right. So you can see that there's uh, postural distortions occurring throughout the body. And if we take a look, right now she's got a nice posture because she's at the chiropractor's, but I'm gonna guess that otherwise that head would be forward. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, Miss Yadi, what you're gonna do for me? Go ahead and lie. You're gonna lie face down for me right here. Whenever we, whenever we start up the exam, we always just take a look to see what we can see. And once again, you can see that there's a rotation that's occurring in her hip there. It appears that Here's that in her thoracic spine, there's some rotation occurring there. It looks like she's holding more of her tension on that left side. So these are all great clues that we can add in to you know, get a more accurate adjustment and get just get better overall results. When we take a look at Yadi, there is a slight discrepancy in her leg length as well. So that right is gonna be slightly shorter than the left. And if we check in that second position, that is gonna be evening out. Awesome, so big deep breaths in and out for me. You're just gonna relax all the way. Perfect. Then big deep breath in. All the way out. Awesome. Cool. So what we're noticing with Yadi here is that there's gonna be restriction on the right side of her SI joint, but it's also persisting down this lower side as well. So what I want you to do, Yadi, I'm gonna place my hand on your sacrum here. You're gonna keep this leg as straight as possible. You're gonna lift it up nice and high. Left leg nice and high, and back down. Perfect, and then right side, back down. Awesome. <laughs> what did you notice? The right side was harder. The right side was harder, and guess what? That's the right side that's off as well. So that's giving us some great clues, and we're gonna go ahead, adjust that first on you, and I feel most of that restriction lowered down the sacrum here, and of course, Right here, L5, we're getting some spasms. I think your body's a little angry with you there. All right, so go ahead and have this side up facing me. You'll lie down on your side. Perfect, so bring it all relaxed. Cool. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna adjust the, her sacrum here, because most of that restriction's lying there. You're gonna take a big deep breath in for me, and then all the way up. Perfect, let it relax. One more time, big deep breath in, all the way out. Nice. Oh. Yes, <laughs> awesome, face up. Good. Let's go ahead and have this side facing me now. Okay. Perfect, we're 
place that right there. And then right there to help five. Breathe it all the way out. Nice, all the way up. Oh. Wow. That was the one. You gotta go face down for me. Let's make sure your legs are nice and even. Oh. Wow. Perfect. Let's retest that on you, okay? Go ahead, right, uh, right or left leg first, whichever one works for you. And then back down, right side. Perfect. Nice. What did you notice? Uh, my right side was better this time. Yay, right side was better this time. Legs are even. We're gonna be all done with her lower spine here. And we're gonna focus on her main problem, which is that neck discomfort that she gets, those nasty knots in the back of her uh, shoulders. Cool. So what you wanna let me know is if there's any point here where I touch or palpate into something and you feel pain or discomfort. So if I poke in here oh, yeah. or here. Uh, the right one is the worse. Right, the right one's worse, yeah. okay. And you can, folks at home, you can go ahead and touch in the back, back here into your traps. There's a muscle called the levator scap and the tendency is for that muscle to get super tight and tender and it's gonna be right in this region mm. here. And I'm actually being nice to her right now. I could poke that a little harder and she would scream, but <laughs> we don't wanna get a Latina angry, okay? <laughs> what we're gonna do is give her a very special adjustment where we're gonna actually adjust right into these ribs here. That levator scap travels all the way up to C1, C4, so it allows for a beautiful release in our cervical spine as well, okay? Yeah, what you're gonna do for me, you're gonna lift this head up just slightly. Perfect. You're just gonna breathe and relax. It's all right way here. Awesome. Everything just breathing, relaxing right there, all the way out. Nice. You're so tense, girl. Just let it out, let it out. Breathe it out. Nice. Oh, wow. Wow. Other side. Bring that all the way over here. Everything all, oh, just breathe it out, let it relax, night. Oh. oh my goodness. Whew. Big deep breath in. Oh, wow. Big deep breath in. Oh, wow. Yeah. In the other area here, her thoracic spine is very locked up as well, and there's lots of tension that's building up here. Keep in mind, if you have tension up here, the likelihood is that it's gonna travel down all the way here as well, okay? All right, Yadi, what you're gonna do for me, you're gonna bend, you're gonna bend both knees here. You're gonna go ahead and take a big, big deep breath in and all the way out. You're gonna keep doing that for me, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust multiple segments here in our thoracic spine to open that up. So you're gonna keep taking big deep breaths in and let it all the way out. Perfect. And let that relax. Now, when we take a look, her legs are gonna be even, the shifting in her hips is gone, and this is starting to look a lot more balanced. Now Yadi, when I poke in here, or here. Wow, the right side hurts less. It hurts less, okay, here we go. <laughs> Face up. Weird, how did that happen? You're amazing. All right. Now, the other thing we're gonna take a look at because that connects C1 to C4, so we're gonna see if there's anything that remains in our lower circle spine that we wanna clear out. And for all the, the pop and crack addicts out there, there may not be any juice left in here, but we're gonna go ahead and get some motion. You're gonna let that relax. Focus on dropping your shoulder there. Boom. And then chin up. Oh, nice. nice. Let that relax. Cool. And with Yadi, we're gonna do a bonus adjustment here because we want her to walk out of here a little bit taller. So we're gonna oh. loosen the ankles and the hips up. Perfect. Come on up. Yadi, is there anything you want to tell them regarding massage, chiropractic, posture? What's your message to the world? Uh, I would definitely get adjusted over a massage. Absolutely. Well, hey, I think it's great. I think it's great to do both. But keep in mind that massage is pointless if you're never gonna change your habits and you're constantly gonna be like this. You can get all the massages in the world. It's a temporary. It's a temporary band-aid, yeah. right? What you need to work on, structurally, if your curve is going the other way, you definitely need a chiropractor. 
and you definitely need to change your habits and that's what we're all about here is working on changing those habits around which I know she's gonna do a great job not looking down her cell phone as much and she's gonna practice getting into extension which is gonna allow these muscles to relax. Awesome work, thank you.